Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated skincare cupboard tour and just showing you some products that I've been enjoying using and what's new in my cupboard. I'm also going to be doing a separate video that will most probably come after this one sharing my five current favourite skincare products that I'm using all the time at the moment. So definitely keep a look out for that and without further ado let's get right into the video. First up on this shelf, half of these products are new and then the Pixie Vitamin C items you may be familiar with from a video I did last year. Then the other product that you may have seen before is the Lacura Pink Clay Mask that I'm still using. I don't use this all the time, I have been reaching for another mask that I'm trying out but I do still enjoy this one. Then I have a few things that I picked up in Singapore and Thailand which you would have seen in my recent haul video. So there is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask that I'm really enjoying, then the Bior UV SPF 50 and also the Bior Nose Strips that I haven't got around to trying yet. Then there's a mini Laneige sleeping mask in Lemon. The other three products were kindly gifted to me from Balance Me. So we have the Micella Cleansing Water, the Vitamin C Repair Serum and the Radiance Face Oil. This face oil in particular I was using a lot on holiday but I have regularly been using all three of these products. The second shelf down has quite a few new skincare additions including another Bior SPF 50. This is a spray that I got in Singapore. Also another Asian skincare product is this Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser from COSRX. I've been using this on a regular basis and I absolutely love the texture, smell and feel of it. Then at the back, this is the Etude House White Cloud Mask that I've spoken about before. I got this the first time that I went to Singapore. Then there is also here another Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Mint Choco. And then at the back here is the Innisfree Green Tea Mist. I have been absolutely in love with this. It's so convenient and it just smells gorgeous. And it really does hydrate the face well with a super fine mist. Then other new skincare items are another Balance Me one. This is the Cleanse and Smooth Face Balm. I haven't been using this as much as the other ones, but I have tried it a couple of times. Then the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. I used to use Elemis so much um, about five or six years ago and then I just started discovering other products but Elemis used to be one of my favourite brands so it's nice to rediscover Elemis and try some different products that they have out now. This is the mask I was going on about. I've been using this more than the pink clay one. This is the Hey Bud Australian Hemp Clay Mask. I did a video about this. It was just a really quick demo of it over on my Instagram if you wanna go and see it and why I love it. These are the First Aid Facial Radiance Pads. I haven't used these enough yet to notice a difference or to form an opinion on them but I do quite like the exfoliating pads just because they're convenient. This product here is from Pi, it's the Calming Day Cream. I have quite a few of their skincare items dotted around. These came in a really great value for money pack from Look Fantastic which was gifted to me. This day cream is one I've been pulling out on super cold mornings because it's just nice and comforting. Then the other pie product that I've used quite a bit is their cleansing oil. This is the rose hip one. In fact, everything, most of these products have rose hip in. 
Then behind the Pixie Glow Tonic, you guys know I love this. I've been using it forever. This is a great one. I've mentioned this so many times before. If you're just starting out with glycolic acids and you want something that's quite gentle, then the Pixie one is a good place to start. Behind here, balancing at the back, is the Lacura Revitalizing Facial Tonic. I spoke about this in a new skincare products video last year. This I use every day, day and night, and I absolutely love it. It's a great dupe for the Liz Earl one. The only thing is it is a pour on one, so you just pour a bit on your hand and then pat it onto the face. Then at the back here is the Nukes Ultra Comforting Face Balm. This is again a nice one of an evening. I've been using this quite a lot, especially in these winter months. We've been having some really cold weather just lately and a combination of the cold weather and the central heating is making my skin super dry. So this is nice to put on at the end of my evening skincare routine. Here is the Revolution Hyaluronic Essence Spray. I've been using this quite a lot as you can see. And this one is the Pixi Glow Tonic Serum. I haven't been using this as much. And the Pi uh, Rose Hip Oil. This is the Bio Regenerate Oil. This again I haven't used enough to see a difference or form an opinion on. And then one product that I have been using a lot of is the Revolution Vitamin C. This is the 12.5% one and it's the Super Strength Formula. This next shelf has to be one of my favourite shelves just to look at visually. It always makes me so happy when I open up my cupboard and see this shelf. I love the purple and pink products and also the white ones. On this shelf is again a few new things and some things that I've been using for quite a while. New wise is the Claire's Pure Vitamin C. This is the freshly juiced vitamin drop that I grabbed in Singapore. Behind here is two Eve Lom cleansers. These are the gel balm ones. This is the original and then this is one in a pump. This product here is by Radical. This is a new product that was sent to me. It's a detox charcoal enzyme peel. Definitely go and check out my video on Instagram or TikTok where I share with you a demo on how to use this. It's a really genius product and great for brightening the skin and just doing a quick exfoliation. This is an old school product, the vitamin C um, powder from The Ordinary. Still absolutely loving this. I use it every day. This Clinique Hydrating Jelly is another product that I've been using on the daily before I put my moisturiser on in the mornings. This one here is an eye cream by Babor. Then another eye cream here is the Pi Gentle Eye Cream. I've been applying this at night because it's slightly thicker. At the back here is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. This is something I enjoy using if I'm in a rush and I just want to get my makeup off quickly. Here is the Pixie Jasmine Oil Blend that you've seen before. Another old school product is the Lacura Retinal Toner that I'm still using and really enjoying. This one I use at night. A newer product that Pixie sent me was the Rose Ceramide Cream. This is an intensive moisturiser. I've only used this a handful of times so far. At the back, here is the Dr. Botanicals. This is a pomegranate superfood brightening eye serum. I alternate between this and the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. I do use this one more, the Balance Me one, but I do like using this on days when I just want my eyes to be a bit brighter. And it's a nice serum consistency. It's definitely something that I haven't used before, but I really like the consistency of this as an eye product. This one I used for the first time last night. This was from Thailand. This is the Skin RX Lab Made Serum Cream. It has a niacinamide in. 
it's quite a thick cream so I'm going to start using this at night. One of my old school favourites is the Vanillico Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. I haven't been using this as much lately just because I've been trying out other products. However, this is always a staple in my cupboard. This Sukin Pink Clay Facial Mask I used on holiday and really liked it. Then at the back here, I'm still using the Bior Marshmallow Foaming Cleansing Wash. I use this probably about two times a week as my second cleanse in my morning routine. Another favorite shelf in my skincare cupboard is this one that's full of my accessories and sheet masks. So here is just a ton of sheet masks that I picked up on our recent trip to Singapore and Thailand. Then I have my beloved rubber sheet mask protector. In here is my micro needler and my crystal face tool and also the face razors that I spoke about. In the most recent skincare video which was the top 10 favorite skincare tools and accessories that I've been enjoying. Also, there is a secret giveaway in there as well. If you haven't entered yet, then definitely go back and check that video. I will pop a link down below. The giveaway is open internationally until the end of January. Here, you guys know I love the Foreo Luna Mini 3. I use this every day to cleanse with. Then the last thing I've used a couple of times are these Next Care Acne Patches. These I've just been using on a couple of rogue spots that I've had lately. Okay, last but not least is the bottom shelf. Most of this shelf consists of hair bands to put my hair back when I'm doing my skincare. Then we have my mask, sponges, and also this cotton wool that I picked up recently that you guys know I've been really enjoying. And then the Muji foaming net, which again was in my top 10 favorite skincare tools and accessories. Everything else I've spoken about before, the only things that are new are just the two headbands and also the coloured cotton. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. Don't forget to look out for my next video where I share with you my top five skincare favourites currently that I'm using all the time and have a great rest of the week guys and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye.